EPA to a meteorologist Bobby Marcus here with your outlook for April 28th, 2021. We have a very warm day coming for your Wednesday, and uh, this has been well advertised for the past couple of days. We expected today to be the peak heating day uh, of this week, and uh, temperatures are going to be in the 80s for most of us. 80 to 86 is the range we have here, if you look next to me here on the video. Uh, so 80 to 86 is the spread from north to south, so about 80 or so in Wilkes-Barre, 86 or so in Philadelphia. So that spread in between, somewhere in between there, you'll be in the lower 80s. But uh, it's, a, it's not going to be a bad day today. We're talking about partly the mostly cloudy skies. Another way of saying variably cloudy skies or times that you're going to have more clouds and sun and then the sun breaks through. So intervals of clouds and sun today. and um, But you will have some times that the uh, clouds are dominant. But it's going to remain warm uh, today, certainly. And uh, we're not dropping that far off overnight. And that's because we have a system moving toward the region that's going to bring showers on thursday but this might not be as big of a deal as the global models are trying to sell this is the global models i'm showing you this is the european model actually and it has some rain showers coming in actually very late wednesday night which probably isn't happening according to the name which i'll shoot in a minute and then you have uh, just intermittent showers all day and all evening you even have some heavier bursts of rain in here according to the global models going into at least the first half of the overnight, um, and then uh, ending before Friday morning, right? So that's what the global monitor is selling. Now, the timing's similar to what the NAM has as far as when it ends. So Friday's not really too big of a deal, right? Well, this is the NAM that came in this evening, okay? So now this has been very consistent over the last couple of runs showing. Uh, this is actually looking at uh, a noon on Thursday. Prior to this, there's absolutely nothing, nothing. Okay, so this is noon, there's one o'clock on, on Thursday, two, three, so about mid-afternoon or so, you get some a little bit of shower activity starting to come in. This is not until three o'clock in the afternoon that you're getting this, okay? So that's a far cry from three o'clock in the afternoon on this uh, particular model, which is showing uh, plenty of showers going on that was already ongoing for six hours. NAMP says, uh-uh, it's not going to be doing anything in the morning and uh, early part of the afternoon. It does have the showers moving in during the uh, course of the afternoon, but again, not uh, not a deluge of rain here, just some intermittent showers uh, going into the evening hours, and you can see that here. Uh, that goes, this is now looking at midnight, but once you get past midnight, really not too much except for a few, for a few showers here and there in the overnight, and then you have a frontal boundary that's going to come through early in the morning, uh, in the pre-dawn hours on Friday, and then that's it. There's nothing after that. And total precipitation here, if I go to a precipitation total map, uh, not a whole lot. Quarter inch or less. This is not note noteworthy stuff. Okay? So, you know, I mean, I can see if you have a thunderstorm involved with this, like the uh, the three-kilometer name was uh, suggesting here for, I think, parts of where we're right across central New Jersey here uh, with this depiction. Uh, right, uh, right there. So there's a few thunderstorms with it when this moves in late afternoon. If you get a thunderstorm, you can get it over a quarter inch, but for the vast majority of the area, it's showing a quarter inch or less of rain out of this whole system. This is not what the European model would be suggesting, however. And if I switch this to a different view, just to give you an idea for comparative purposes, uh, this is what the, uh, total precipitation looks like here on the European model. And it's a totally different story. Got between a half and three quarters of an inch of rain for most, and then you have some air, lollipop areas here, or some jackpot areas, if you will. They're going over an inch of rain. That's a big difference between the two. So when I we hear all the time about how the models are horrible with winter storms, and they're horrible in winter, I think it's just because people are paying attention to them the more in the, in the winter time. Uh, we do this year round, and I'm telling you that the model differences, and this is only 24 hours away from the start, about 24 to 36 hours from the projected start on the European model. And the two models could not be further apart. So this happens year round. We deal with this all year round, and uh, here we go. Okay, so there's some model wars going on. So it's I, I would kind of lean toward a more consistently uh, a more consistent NAM model that I've been seeing over the past 24 to 36 hours with this particular run. This runs every six hours. It's been very consistent, not showing a whole lot, and uh, the. Uh, Global models have been much more aggressive. I think we're going to lean on the lighter side for now. If this ends up going a little bit higher, we'll adjust. But I, I wouldn't expect a ton of rain here on Thursday. And this might not even come in here until, you know, again, like early to mid-afternoon on, on, on Thursday. And then only in a few spots. Here you get the shower, scattered showers going through the evening. And then a little few showers overnight. And this is done by early, very early 
on on Friday morning. This is already past us. So Friday becomes a partly cloudy day. Maybe a stray shower, but I doubt it. Okay, so that's what we're looking at for this particular system. I'm going to go back to a uh, wider view so we can take a look at the... I'm going to change this to type of map. So we're going to look past the system on Friday. Once we get to the weekend, the temperatures are going to drop a little bit. Uh, you know, to tomorrow, if you look next to me in the video here, I have 72 to 80 as the spread from north to south. Still very warm. Uh, but again, we have the shower indication on there, but it might not be an all-day thing. It doesn't look like it's going to be. All right. Uh, again, I'll adjust it tomorrow morning in the video if I needed to do that. But right now, I'm leaning towards the NAM solution, which is not really a whole lot of rain. Uh, once we get past that, which, which is unfortunate because we can use it. This is the growing season. We're actually below average in precipitation for this month, considerably below average in some areas uh, by almost two inches in some locations. So we could definitely use it. This is the growing season. This is the time where people need things to grow, right? Uh, so we get it over the weekend. It does look like a mostly dry weekend. It's going to be a little bit cooler on Saturday once that cold front moves through on Friday morning very early. Uh, temperatures will be in the 60s, mid to upper 60s. On, for highs on Friday, and then we're kind of like generally low to mid 60s or so for highs on Saturday, but we're ex are expecting mostly sunny skies. We're going to rebound quite a bit, though, once we get into Sunday, as this is a warm front that's moved north of the region. Might be a late day shower with that on on Sunday, but I think it pushes farther enough north and east that gets us back in the 70s for highs on, uh, on uh, Sunday. And then Monday and Tuesday are going to follow up in this warm sector here with 70s as well. Okay, so we might have something we get into late, uh, later in the day here on uh, on Tuesday. We could have some scattered thunderstorms later in the day ahead of this next system, but it is going to be the 70s again, uh, well into the 70s, in fact, as we get into uh, in the Sunday through Tuesday time frame of next week. So we are going to warm up again. We have a little slight step back Saturday, Sunday, not a big deal. Once we get into next week, we're back well into the 70s and maybe even touching 80 here by the time we get to uh, Tuesday in our southeastern areas. But uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's get the at the end of our seven-day forecast cycle. I do want to focus on that rain for Thursday and see how involved that is. Again, leaning toward less. Not impossible to see more like the global models are selling. But I will update that again in tomorrow morning's video. Hopefully have the right answers by then, considering it's day one. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marcher. Status your outlook for April 28, 2021. Have a great Wednesday.